Let's get right into this Xeno Mini Pro update 1.4.7. 70 percent uh, better gimbal? Uh, you be the judge. We're going to get right into the video here. I'm going to show you a picture of the PIDs that changed all through history. You be the judge. Let's get to the video. It's 2.7K. Let me know. Okay, so let's check it up. And look at the nice blue sky. I must say the dynamic range on this camera, the 1 over 1 1.3, has huge potential. Huge potential. So we'll start the video. As it comes into focus there, I have to, I have to say I'm, I was amazed when I first saw this back. And compared to what my other examples of the Xeno Mini Pro had been, this was really nice. This was really nice. The horizon is still off a little bit, and it changes through the flight. They still haven't got that down yet. I don't think I've done the Hubson tool calibration on this craft yet. Maybe I'll try that. I don't really use this that much. But I wanted to look and focus on this piece of property here. You see the grass and you see the cut lines from the lawnmower? Before, that would all look like a billiard table top. So I'm saying, wow, that's interesting. So I stopped and I decided to take some pictures. So I took a few pictures here. And you let me know. Can you basically see the lawn as it's supposed to be in these two pictures? Hmm. It was really interesting. And you notice how the horizon has gone the other way now? That's interesting. So, let's get back to the video. I started the video again. You can see the grass lines. You can see the horizon is off a little bit. But there's still good dynamic range between the two of them. Okay? And then we came back to look over the lake. But before we go there, I stopped I stopped the video here. Okay. And I wanted to get into the exposure value. I wanted to see if there was a way to change the exposure value without going to manual mode. And basically there isn't. Okay. The only way to change your exposure values is by manipulating the shutter and the ISO speed. But because I'm in 2.7K, I can't get below the 400 mark on the ISO. You have to be in 1080p, or I should say you have to be out of HDR and lower than 4K to get into the 100. Now I know it can get down to 100 if my 1080p, but I believe it's the HDR that makes it impossible to adjust it down that low. Anyway, I found the workaround and I lowered the shutter speed uh, down and I manipulated a little bit and it came a little bit darker and we were happy with this and let's see what happens. I do have an issue with the HDR on the Hubson Xeno Mini Pro, but uh, I got it working pretty good. Then we started the video again. So here we are. It's a little bit darker, but I think it's pretty good. I think it's pretty good. Now my main issue is, and you can see here the horizon is not quite as bad now. It goes in and out of phase. So now it's a little bit darker. Okay, the shutter speed's a little bit less. Uh, it's got good focus. My issue here is looking for yaw jitter. When it goes around, is there any jitter in the video? Sometimes it's hard to tell because of the computer that you're running on. If you've got any programs running, it doesn't run at full speed. When it compresses on YouTube, sometimes it takes a while. All kinds of things. But uh, this has all been rendered in 1080p. So it was taken in 2.7, rendered in 1080. With these yaws, is there any jitter? Now I know on the new Hubson Mini, excuse me, <clears throat> I know on the new Hubson Mini, it has a jitter issue. And it doesn't have quite 
the dynamic range or it's not quite as dialed in as this appears. This appears to me to be some of the best Xeno Mini Pro footage I've ever gotten. Okay. So we're just about to finish up here and we're coming in. And I was using uh, my new Techlast T40 Pro 10 inch tablet. And around here, it was really, really laggy and very choppy. Now I am in the garage, and this is where I've been for all my drone flights and that. And I was amazed that there was still a lot of lagginess in the transmission. Um, and I'm doing this voiceover because the microphone on the Techlast T40 Pro isn't that great. Okay, it's not as good as uh, a phone microphone, so I'll have to experiment with something else a little bit later. And that's it. Coming down for a landing. Yeah. And it handles great. It flies great. Not a problem at all. So, yeah, in the end, uh, not a bad flight. Let me know what you think. Is it an improvement? Did the pits change anything? The one thing I did notice, and I'll put, I'll put a slide up here. I did notice that the recordings, the video recordings and the picture recordings, time stamped June the 10th. But this recording was taken June the 9th. It's kind of weird. And I'll put the pictures up here to prove it. Okay. So anyway, there you go. 1.4.7. Is it worth a try? It's not going to hurt you. See you in the next one.